how can this road train of electric vehicles help improve the transport systems inside city centres? European scientists think they're on the right track to provide answers to that question, and they've shared their solutions with us. Scientists at this European research project see the concept as a tool for improving car sharing within city centres and suburban areas. Their vision is that commuters can take these vehicles to and from their nearest public transport point without using their cars. The coupling system is thought to make the spatial distribution of vehicles more efficient, helping to match supply and demand. A service operator can bring the vehicles wherever they are needed. By driving just one vehicle, you can tow up to seven to where commuters need them. The coupling principle is similar to that of trains. The main challenge was finding ways to prevent lateral oscillations. The system links vehicles electromechanically, increasing the stability of the convoys and the efficiency of energy transmission from a single charging station. The new feature of this coupling system is that signals, i.e. control commands, can be transmitted between the vehicles and charge balancing can take place between them. It was at this laboratory that part of the steering, propulsion and braking equipment inside the vehicles were tested. The tests, scientists say, provided the proof that the road train can work safely in forward and reverse gear. Every vehicle has two motors, one at the front and one at the rear. That means that when we are towing eight vehicles, we have 16 motors to pilot. So we had to develop very complex command and management systems. For the first, we had to develop different algorithms, taking into account several parameters, including the mass of the vehicles. Then we bench tested the whole platform and finally on the vehicles themselves on the road. Computer scientists were required to develop models to predict future fleet distribution demand and revenue. Parameters like distances, population, commuter habits, travel and waiting times or cost of vehicle redistribution had to be closely taken into account. Huge investments are necessary to build the charging infrastructure. So we need to define the right strategy to allow us to decide where to install these charging stations and how big they should be. Batteries give a range of some 50 kilometers. An average journey time is expected to be no more than 10 minutes. It's a system designed to complement the public transportation network where people hesitate to take public transportation because they live or they work too far away from it. So our aim is simply to offer commuters a new tool to allow them to take public transportation instead of their cars so pollution, traffic jams and CO2 emissions can be cut. Each vehicle can run up to 65 kilometers per hour according to its developers. The project includes test trials in three pilot sites in France, Spain and the United Kingdom. <laughs>